Whether I turn out to be the hero of my own story, or whether that station will be held by anybody else, these moments must show. My boyhood days seem now like a scarcely believable fiction. London is full of wonders and wickedness. And it's ours, David, to go wherever we choose. Well, I'm not down there. Creditors make that road impossible. Two tailors and a most unreasonable muffin man. Copperfield! Your mama is ill. How old is she? Very ill. Very ill. Very ill. Very ill. Dangerously ill. She's dead. We're very sorry. I'm David Copperfield. I'm your nephew. You're the only family I have. What do we do with him? If I were you, I'd wash him. Oh, donkeys! This is a donkey-free zone! Move it! You're a remarkable woman. Very kind. You had nothing, then you had something, and now you got nothing again. So stands to write you'll have something again. You were staring. Is there something wrong with me? No. I apologize for my rudeness. Think nothing of it, sir. He speaks very well. It was actually me. Oh, Romeo, do some work. Oh, good morning! Do you know what I want? A straight jacket, a husband? <laughs> Feels like a party. Ha 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 ha! Ha ha! Great time! Great time! But this narrative is far more than mere fiction. It is, in fact, written memory. And you'll have quite the ride on the way.